Hey, this is Scott with South Mesa Adventures. I'm just going to show you how I prepare a smoked chicken on the on a grill. I use a Camp Chef smoker and it always turns out really good. My family loves it. So even the kids who tend to not like chicken. So I, I start off with a chicken. I buy these at Costco in a two pack. Um, keep one frozen and then um, thaw one out in the refrigerator. I rinse it off. Some people will say don't rinse it. I pretend to rinse it. So the things that I use, so the chicken, I got a dry rub. You can buy just a normal cold barbecue rub. I use a dry rub that I found online that we really like. It's got um, brown sugar, paprika, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and cayenne pepper. And that's the one, that's usually our go-to. Um, we also use apple juice. That's what's in this cup here. And here it's just a, a can mix and use a needle to inject the apple juice into the meat of the chicken. All right, so now I'm injecting the chicken with the apple juice. Um, I make sure that you pour your apple juice into a cup and don't dip your needle into the big jug because you'll contaminate it with the, the meat. So I'm just withdrawing some apple juice up out of the, the cup here and then in, I'll just put it right into the the fat or the thicker part of the meat and, and inject it in there. It'll create a little bit of a blister and that's what you want. Then you know you'll, the meats get moist. Um, it helps maintain the moisture while you're cooking into the meat. I put it in the, in the legs, I put it in the breasts and I'll put it a little bit in the wings it doesn't take much in the wings, just because they're so small. Um, if you want, you can flip it over and put it in the back. I will also pour a little bit down inside the cavity of the chicken. Um, so next, I'm going to put the rub on. And the way I, I like to do that is I actually like to um, pour Try to keep your hands as clean as possible so you're not contaminating anything. Um, I will pour the rub right on the surface of the chicken. You can see I put quite a bit on there. That's because I'm going I'm to be rubbing it in a lot of places. But right now, starting on just on the outside of the skin, but I will come inside the chicken and I will actually separate the skin from the meat. To, and so I have a cavity in there and I will put the rub inside that cavity. That way, you get more flavor into the meat. Okay, so this is a probe that came with my Camp Chef grill. It measures the internal temperature of the meat while you're cooking it. I like to put it right inside the center of the, the meat on the, on the breast. That way you have um, a good solid temperature when it hits the internal temperature that you need it. So we're gonna cook this to 165. On the grill we're gonna put it on high smoke which is about 220 degrees in my in my grill and once it reaches that 165 internal temperature I'll pull it out and I'll let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before I start cutting into it um, in that time frame it'll infuse a nice smoke layer and a good flavor into the chicken so we'll go out to the grill and, and get it set up and get it started so now we're gonna put the chicken on the grill let it get up to temperature and just cook. I'll plug the probe in and that way we can watch it for the next couple hours while it cooks. So here's the finished product after we took it right out of the grill. It looks delicious. The skin has a great flavor. You can add whatever topping or sauce you'd like to add to it. My family loves a Carolina style vinegar barbecue sauce or the Sweet Baby Ray's sauce. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy. If you have any questions, just comment below.